Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import a large CSV file, as the one on the left, into a MySQL database table, as that on the right, using the powerful Python Pandas library. If you have ever struggled with importing large datasets into a database, then this video is for you. I'll take you through each step of the process, from reading the CSV file to inserting the data into the database table. So, if you're ready to learn how to handle big data like a pro, then let's get started. Suppose we have this CSV file with those few records. And we want to import them into this empty MySQL table whose name is Sales Summary. We can use the MySQL insert statement to do this as follows. We write insert into Sales Summary, which is the table name. Then, type the word values. After that, we start enter our records values as they are in our CSV file. We make sure that every row values are separated by comma and enclosed by brackets. This method is perfect when we have small CSV files. But, when it comes to large files with hundreds and even thousand rows, it will be impractical to use that method, due to the large consume time during the typing process of each row values. But, what if we have a tool to type all records we have in almost few seconds? Of course, it will be an excellent solution. And this is exactly the main role of Python in this method. So, Let's dive right in and walk through the step-by-step -step process together. Here we created a new Jupyter Notebook to start working with Pandas. We begin by importing our library. Now, it's imported successfully. Then, we need to load our targeted CSV file. We will use the read CSV method and store it into a data frame. Let's name it df. We can use the head method to show the first five rows of our file. Let's start cleaning our data. First of all, we can drop all unnecessary columns that we won't need. We will drop the day, month, year, and age group columns. Great. After that, we should check for any missing values. We can see that there are not any missing values in all columns. Excellent. We should also check on all columns data types and fix any inconsistency. We notice that we need to fix the data type for the date column by converting it to date instead of object. We also need to convert the data types of the last five columns into float instead of integer. Now, our data is cleaned and well prepared for the next step. Next. We will save our clean data as a text file. We need first to convert all rows as tuples inside a big list. Let's create an empty list and name it Y. Then, we will iterate over each row inside our date frame using for loop. For each row, we will use the append method to add it inside the empty list in form of a tuple. Here is our large list created successfully. The next step is to create a new text file using open method, with the name sales. Let's store it in a variable called file. For each tuple inside our list, 
I need to write it inside the file, followed by a comma, plus a new line. And finally, after finishing writing all tuples, we need to close the file. Great, the file is created in our current directory. Now it's time to import your CSV file into your MySQL database table. To import our file, we go to the text file. We press Ctrl A and copy all the lines. Then, we go to MySQL and write insert into sales and then type values and paste all the copied lines go to the last line and replace the last comma with a semicolon and finally run the query And here's our file imported successfully with more than 100,000 rows in almost few seconds. In conclusion, we've learned how to import large CSV files into a MySQL database table using Python and Pandas. We encourage you to try it out yourself and experiment with different techniques for handling large datasets. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.